G'day. My name is Craig Hand. My first interaction with the Idi tribe at Sibidiri in the western province of Papua New Guinea was during a lifetime adventure on the high seas in 2008. Crossing the treacherous Tor Strait solo in the smallest fishing boat to go to another country from Australia, a four and a half metre vessel that I call the Little Red Boat was dangerous but ultimately rewarding. I was the tribe's first tourist and we became friends. They have no electricity, no shops and no tin food. They grow yams and hunt pigs, wallaby, cassowary, deer and fish with a bow and arrow. After my first visit, I returned to Darwin and held a fundraiser at the Railway Club in Parap and also started a charity for the tribe to help them out. Other people and companies helped me, including Coopers, NT Automotive Group and Bunnings who donated hand tools and essential equipment which I delivered to the tribe in 2010 with my little red boat. This short story is about my second trip. My full story, complete with my adventures, is currently being edited. Make sure you don't miss it. Well, i just got to give the boat a good clean up now. Good wash and shine. He's ready to go to Cape York. We all know we're here for uh, the benefit for uh, Craig to get over to Papua New Guinea. And I hope you have a great night and uh, would you please welcome Charlotte Grace. Thank you. Good luck, Craig, on your voyage out across the ocean, mate. They can take your home Or put you in a cell your eyes until it feels like you're living in hell they can try and take your mind and tell you who you ought to be they can try and hide divine provoking insecurity there is one thing they can not take Some work real hard to get their children fed. Yeah, yeah. Some don't work at all. The motivation day. Yeah, yeah. Some take home alone, but seems like they're never content. No, no. Some take home nothing. I thought I'd take them a laminated map of the world. Uh, they've probably never seen a map before and probably don't know what the world looks like. So I thought it might be a good idea to take this along. I've also got them some globes, round globes of the world. And I thought that would be um, educational for them as well. Track's about to start now, so we've got about um, 900 kilometres to go. Most of it is corrugations, over 5 million of them apparently, and um, 
really have to stop the dust from getting in. I'm actually off the side of the road here. The road's over there, but it's way too rough. Well, I've just driven 4,000 kilometres in the last four days. I set out from Darwin and I've arrived here at Seisha, right at the tip of Cape York. I'm going to spend the next couple of days repairing the boat uh, with all the goods and ready to set out on my voyage across the Torres Strait. I'm just going to put the boat in here and do a few stability checks in the sheltered waters at Seisha and probably camp overnight and tomorrow morning, very early, I'll head across the Thursday Island for a short run, uh, roughly about two hours, and then uh, go and check in with customs. Got all my paperwork right for the uh, bigger trip across Torres Strait. Look at that. yards off Thursday Island. This is where I'll check in with customs and check out of Australia. Just leaving Thursday Island now. Uh, heading on my way to uh, just this side of Beidou Island which is um, almost the halfway mark across Torres Strait. It's going to be a big day and a slow day. We're, um, just plodding along because the boat's fairly well overloaded. I can see the hilly island of Duan. It's only about 12 mile away. I should get there before this storm, but you never know. It's a bit of a race. Um, Duan's only about 10, 10 or so mile off the coast of Papua New Guinea. So I haven't quite crossed Torres Strait, but nearly. When I get there, I can't go to the tribe straight away. I have to run along the coast in the opposite direction to the tribe, about 100 kilometres, to check in at uh, Daru. That's the PNG check-in point. And then I come back the 100 kilometres to pass Duan, and then another 40 kilometres to the river mouth, and then up that about 20 kilometres to the tribe. So I've still got a lot of travelling to do. I'm off the chart now, I have no GPS communication so all my navigation now will be just off um, just the feel of it. So we'll give it a go, see if we can uh, find Daru. This 90 kilometre run along to Daru, along the coast of Papua New Guinea, is unreal. I've checked out of Daru, that was an interesting three hours I spent there. The, um, Customs and uh, quarantine guys searched my boat, found all these things that uh, import duty may have applied. That um, they decided that, uh, that I wasn't a commercial problem. Wow, boat's loaded. Anyway, we're hitting it. We're on our way to Sibidiri. Today's the day. I'm gonna actually get there. Going at this speed, it might be late, but. Let's see if I can get there today. Up against the tower. I can see some huts. I can see the log canoes on the bank. There's no one on the foreshore at the moment. At any minute now, word's going to get out. They'll hear the noise of the motor. There'll be a big gathering. There's someone out in a canoe out in the middle of the river, so um, it's all going to get pretty exciting in a minute. People are starting to gather down towards the river now. All the kids have made their way down to the foreshore. They're all coming up to the clearing on the riverbank here. <laughs> 
Just explaining that we're going to show um, the people all the good soon and uh, be good for people back in Australia to see them receive it and uh, um, see them use it. So all good. Okay, okay Jack, this is for you. Oh. And that's for you. Amigo. Do you remember them being taken? Yes. What are you doing? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Bringing it the wrong way. Young and a book will have one and over. Young Trisha, they have a full plan. They have all the time. Hahaha. 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 Terima <laughs> This one, Bill. Thank you, Australia! Thanks to Bunnings, uh, the tribe have now got tools to use for in their everyday life. Uh, Leeds is up here um, sawing some timber on his roof and making a new roof for his house. So, that's good. Once I get to Duan Island, I'll be well and truly into my start of crossing tours straight back to Australia. Uh, my journey's underway now and um, the next couple of days I'm going to be probably up against some rough seas by the look of the, the weather pattern at the moment. Hopefully, hopefully things will improve. Anyway, I'm off to Duan. See you when I get there. I'm crossing tours straight. Again. It's uh, actually not a bad day today, so I'll uh, be able to scoot along a bit. Um, if I had left a bit earlier in the day from Duan Island, I'd be able to make Thursday Island by Lake Masabi. I'll see how I I've gone along. Away from all, and that's all anyway. I could a hell of a lot of water out here and nothing else. It's fair enough to say you couldn't wake up. This is going to be um, just going to take a lot of hours. Just bounce it along through here. Okay. I'll get back to the control. Get back to the control room. All good.